Okay, can you take us back to picking A&M and why it was uh, when you look at Texas A&M, uh, you know, you look at the facilities, obviously, you look at the conference that this beautiful school plays in. And uh, I honestly just saw a great opportunity for myself and getting to the next level and reaching all my goals. So when that opportunity presented itself, I couldn't turn it down. What's it like as a tight end to play in a column platform? Or what? what yeah. Um, you know, I love it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, if you guys know anything about Coach Klein, you've uh, you've seen his past his past track record. Uh, he just put a, a tight end in the NFL this past year, and uh, I think two years ago, every year he's basically put a tight end in the NFL. And um, it's a lot of usage that the tight end is going to get in this offense, so it'll be exciting. If you look at the depth charts, you talk about looking at different things. You look like, hey, I'm, this might be a good place. New else, mm -hmm. maybe you're looking anywhere else. Um, so really just kind of coming here, I saw that there's there's a lot of young guys on the roster that are going to be that are great. They're they're going to be huge this year. You're going to see them make a lot of plays. But uh, just kind of knowing that I can come in and help those guys develop and I could play a leadership role, I thought that'd be good for me in growing as a person and growing on the field. So I, uh, I wanted to take that challenge on. How well did you know Jalen Henderson at Fresno? <laughs> What's that yeah, yeah. Uh, Jalen Henderson, man, that's that's my guy. That's my best friend. Um, we were roommates my freshman year at Fresno State, and since then we first saw each other, met each other, dapped it up, and since then it's just it's been rolling. So it's it's a lot of fun being here with him. Uh, I wouldn't say instrumental. Um, I just think that the everything fell in the right place to where now I'm back with one of my best friends. So it's it's been a lot of fun. Did he have to do any selling? Did he help on the selling part? Um, to be honest, he didn't really have to sell a lot. I mean, the school sells itself. Look around. It's a beautiful school. And then, yeah, that's that. Can you talk about that quarterback room in general and just mm -hmm. that QB1 and your relationship with him on the field help? So really all the quarterbacks, I've had a great relationship, had a great time getting to know all of them. Um, it's been a lot of fun getting to build a relationship with them. They all have different personalities, but they're, they're a great bunch. So rate yourself as a blocker and then what's, what's, your, uh, what's your keys as a receiver to fill your assets? Really, I would just say that Blocking is always blocking as a tight end is always going to be something that's in work, a work in progress because of the guys we're blocking. Uh, if you look at if you look at the DNs across this conference, you're going to block a couple a uh, couple freaks here and there. So you know that that's always going to be a, a progress in work. And then and when you look at the pass game, it's really just it's really just finding ins and outs, watching a lot of film, and that, that's really how I get going in the pass game. Where's the excitement level uh, getting to play? Come out here? Uh, I'm excited. Uh, I've been all I hear, all I've heard about since getting here was the 12th man, the 12th man. I got to see it a little bit over at uh, the baseball field, so I'm excited. I'm excited for that. You mentioned how blocking is kind of a work in process, having to block freaks to help mm -hmm. get to go against guys like Nick Scord and Shamar Stewart. Yes, sir. So uh, those guys, man, from Nick to Cassius to Ryland to Shamar to. Um, to Malik all down the line, man. It's It's been a great time blocking them. We've been going to war at practice. It's a lot of fun. It, iron sharpens iron. So that's it's been a lot of fun. And how have you seen guys like Theo and Donovan kind of come along this, this preseason camp? They're doing great, man. They're going to be a huge part of this offense. Uh, I love playing with them. Those are my brothers. Uh, we've built a, a great bond. And we kind of started this year saying that we were going to be the tightest, the tightest group on offense. And I think we're living up to that right now. You know, the whole experience is new for you this year. but. Uh, a limited amount of coaches on the field this year with that new rule. Does mm -hmm. it seem like there's more voices, more coaches, more uh, uh, coaching happening because of that rule? Uh, so I don't think there's going to be any more like coaching. I think everybody's going to have a role that they take on. But I do think that it, it'll help us as players get accurate looks and get accurate feedback from what just happened on the last drive. Trey, I think uh, you initially committed to Washington and the coach with mm -hmm. Bama. And uh, let me say it was it was a roller coaster, a roller coaster of emotions, roller coaster of um, travel, and it was a lot. Uh, so I actually was at the national championship game with Washington. Uh, I was enrolled in school. Obviously, that didn't work out. The coach left, and I wanted to see I wanted to see different ways. And Coach Elko, Coach Klein, and Coach Ellsworth still had faith in me. Still gave me an opportunity. So I felt like I couldn't pass up on that. How difficult is it to enroll in a school and then 
switch enrollment? Like, mm -hmm. were you able to enroll for the spring semester? How, how did that all kind of work at the So I was. Um, thankfully, uh, Miss Molly and Mr. Mike, our academic advisors, they were able to get everything, get everything set out and get everything fixed for me. So I got in just smooth. Anything else? Anything else? Is there anything you can take from the experience of being on the sideline of the national championship to um, coming here to try to to get back there? Uh, I've told them, uh, I, I've told a lot of guys this, I wasn't playing in that game, but it don't feel good being on the losing side of that. So uh, I would love to be back back there in that game, playing in it this time and with our school colors coming down on this. All right, thank you, Trey. Thank you, guys.